So Jagex has unveiled potential content for the release of Perilous Moons, the first quest to dive into the mysteries of the new region Varlamor. One of the first offerings is a trio of demi-bosses to help bridge the PVM gap between, for example, the Giant Mole and Zolra. It'll help teach players how to actually fight bosses in RuneScape, with one of the rewards being three new sets of armor and weapons with set effects, Blood Rager, Moonfrost, and Eclipse. No, not that Eclipse. Well. We have here an extremely polished and not at all um, broken uh, demo to show you. Starting off with the Big Macs, the Jewel Macro Whittles. Um, so the way these work, you get a hit, a successful hit, and you have a 33% chance to attack faster. Very cool. Uh, we have a, added a little effect so that you can see when this happens. Uh, there you go. So my next attack is going to happen in three ticks. I'm popping off. Uh, but you see there, I didn't get the effect, and so I had to wait a little longer. Um, now, the cool thing about this effect is that because it has a chance to proc on each of the two hits, two hits actually matter. Um, and because the second hit is a lot less accurate than the first hit, then you're going to get this effect a lot more against low defense enemies. Uh, and we've got the, hopefully nothing about the spec is broken. If you spec out an enemy, uh, you're guaranteed to get the effect. So you can really go to town if you feel like, you know, you're at the end of your kill, you're about to teleport home. This is a percentage of your current HP, so if you're low HP and you do this, it's going to hurt a lot less. The mod said they took inspiration from Barrow sets. Okay, so range set, um, it's fairly standard ranged, except you have a chance to burn targets that you hit. Uh, I believe I don't have... Yeah, so I've, I've applied burn there. I don't know if I just got extremely lucky there or... Okay, well, <laughs> so this is proccing on every hit, which is great for the demo, but uh, will not be actually how it works. You have a 20% chance to proc this. So you can see this enemy is taking damage over time. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's going to, on average, 20% chance to hit. You do 10 damage over time. That's going to make your max hit effectively too higher on, on average. Um, but there may be enemies who are immune to this. And uh, as many of you big brain um, players will know, uh, overkill DPS is a thing. And with this damage over time effect, you will rack up a lot of uh, overkill damage. But yeah, if I think that this enemy is about to die and I don't want to waste all of my overkill uh, DPS, I can use the spec and consume my remaining damage to just essentially take all the burn, add it onto my max hit. Um, again, very hard to get five stacks of this, so you will cap out at a max hit of 50, but it is quite unfeasible that that will ever actually happen. Um, yeah, that's the range set. And finally, we have the magic set. Um, let me set up my auto casts here. Uh, so with this set, uh, the way that it works is every time you cast a spell that has a binding effect, so something that would be like Ice Barrage or Entangle or uh, these grass spells, which have cool as hell animations, um, you have a 10% chance for your next melee attack to ignore your action delay. So you can instantly attack with melee. And that's why the button is here. We don't want you accidentally getting dragged into melee against Whisperer when you're using this set. Um, so let's give that a go. Uh, Grasp goes through. We thought we'd try something new with in terms yeah. of showcasing you guys uh, something, because I know sometimes with the way we explain things, we it's not... Smack. Hey. And there yeah. we go. So you saw it in action there. Uh, but it is a 10% chance, it doesn't happen all of the time. And these sets could possibly fit between Barrows and God Wars dungeon armors. Another proposed reward was the Bladed Moon, an offhand defender with better slash bonus than the current defenders, but one less strength bonus than a dragon one. And it would have defensive stats similar to a Mithril Kite Shield. Uh, and a remove from the game? I, I, I gotta be honest, uh, I don't know how this one's gonna go down, because a lot of people have been pointing out about the offhand in Perilous Moons that this is a problem. Uh, and you might see this coming as a result, but uh, the mechanics of the Fang, I just nuke them from orbit. Like, holy shit, that's such a problem. Um, they're making, creating, engaging, slash weak content just nightmare. Um, I wouldn't want to delete the Fang. I think the Fang is an awesome, like, weapon and an awesome idea, this idea that it's, like, super accurate and destroys high defense uh, monsters. I'd like to do that, but I'd like to do it in a way that doesn't also consume all, like, mid-game stuff. Have you seen the demo for the new armors and weapons on the blog post? I did read it, yeah, but it sounded very, 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 very overpowered. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'm not, I'm not that good at, like, Seems like going to be busted as hell, but they sound very powerful. The new ideas sound really cool, and we can't wait to see what else they come up with. But in the meantime, leave your feedback down below on these content proposals, because sometimes the JMods watch these videos. And welcome to the community channel. 
Are you f***ing kidding me? So I, I don't, I can't do that. No, is that, do I not, do I not have him? Do is that not, is, am I not, <laughs> oh my God, am I not physically capable to be able to do what he can do? I, I, I pull off all the moves. I can do exactly what he does, but the RNG just, I just, I just fire at people, bro. I legit, my specs are so ass, bro. F***ing annoying. Coxie got a clue scroll on a high risk world. Oh my god, no way. Where you're always scold and protect item doesn't work. Okay. Ain't no way I gapped him, right? What in the absolute f He gets to keep the claws. That was clutch. Why is my life so bad? <laughs> What the f oh my god. Q Kodak died to Nex, which means all of his gear is stored in the ancient chest outside her prison. And he decides to head back to God Wars Dungeon to retrieve his gear. When he disconnects. Actually, I'm oh my god. Did I just lose everything? No way. No way. No way, were you in the next bank? You weren't in the next bank. You weren't in the next bank. You weren't, you weren't, you weren't in the next area. You didn't, you didn't, right? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Oh my God. No way. You lost your fang, your fucking helmet, the whole Missouri. Hey, that's all right, bro. Your boys got you. We'll do mm -hmm. next every morning. We'll get it back. Over one bill gone forever. Ouch. Surge is warming up for the day at Bounty Hunter. Hundred and twenty one mil, not bad. The guy made over four hundred mil in a day. Oh, I would jump around. I don't know if it was jump around. Yo, Brie Cheese, thanks for the follow, Brie Cheese. They have a max hit of 24, so it wasn't quite a chance, but it wasn't too far off. From Discord submissions, Dark Days got the legendary Twisted Bulmlet. And we can't help but notice there's a collection log slot for the pet, but not the bow. Congrats. He's camping prime age, that's good. Bobby's whip is working on his bronze man account. Is that a is that a crossbow? He just got a mad DPS increase with that bow. Pretty sick for his account. Congrats. Yes. Thank you. Bro, never have I ever, bro. Who the hell the f did I didn't even know there was an F key to open up cave bugs, dude? This guy's been smited. These clans have been after pure spam for days. This time, he's trying to survive against five of them at once, and Venonatus. Wait, well, someone else died as well? I just got so many keys, man. Holy shit. No, 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 not the web. I'm pretty much out here. I don't know, man. This is kind of scary. This guy's got a Void Waker, though. Dude, I've taken on this whole freaking team. Holy shit. That's another one down. Oh my god, I took their whole team down. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Wait, I need to be very careful here. Uh, oh my god. I can't pick all this stuff up, to be honest. I've kind of got to just go. I don't know how, but he's done it again. That Ellie tank is real. Let's see, let's see. What do we get? What do we get? Five keys. And we get ourselves. Oh my god, a 2.5 miller. Okay, that's my one of my biggest ones so far about a smite. 400k. 350k. 2.5 mil. Oh my god. Uh, 450. And finish it up. 770. That was a lot of PK. Like a 1v6. Good fight, guys. My name, Tev, is just doing his elite clue scroll. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. I didn't pick up the casket as teleport right away. Let's teleport back and get there quick. He was just a bit too much in a rush, and the casket is actually on the ground. The elite casket just sit on the ground where I just left it there. I just got third eighth plate legs. I'm not even fucking kidding. You did. What the f Whoa, what? I almost left this on the ground. To think he could have missed out on third age plate legs. Those are about one in 50,000. Ron Plays Games has been at next for months. <gasps> oh my God. I got it, Max. I fucking did it. Yes. <laughs> Friday, baby. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Come on, oh, I'm out. Oh, at almost 5,000 kills, he finishes with the Nile Horn, a massive grind to have behind you. So Farmers V2 have come a long way in the past seven months, and they have one life left before they lose their status. This is their first ever attempt at Theater of Blood on Farmers V2. Cleanest run careful. yet. Nicely well done, done, guys. Good stuff. Here we go. Let's see it. We've got- I actually didn't see. Nothing. Nothing for me. So That's I'm mine. still hoping. Nothing. Oh, I just got to breathe. It's too bad. Nothing. Uh, and last uh, but not least. Damn. Damn. Any pets though? Couldn't christen it. <laughs> no purple chest, but no gray helmet either. They've decided to come back when they have better gear. But they weren't done raiding for the day. They go to Chambers of Zarek. There is one. There is. Yes. All right. Oh. Okay. I already okay. saw it. I already saw it. Their second dex. MMORPG took this one, so next time they'll have to race marbles. But that's a wrap for today. We'll feature more scapers in the next episode of RuneScape Chronicles.